do not fear, for Bebo the Great is here, prophet, revelator, and seer. <laughs> Thank you and welcome to Disavowed. If you have not already done so, please go over to my page and subscribe. If you don't, you're a complete freaking degenerate. If you do, you still are, but at least you're subscribed to my YouTube page. It is with a sad heart today that I have to bring this story of a miscarriage of justice. The leader of NFAC facing charges for allegedly pointing a gun at federal officers. For those of you that don't know what the NFAC is, it is a black militia. Their leader, John Fitzgerald Johnson, or Grandmaster Jay, has been arrested. This is the group of people that went down and protested in Louisville a couple times. A black militia, they accidentally discharged their weapons twice, shooting their own members. <sighs> In all seriousness, this is a complete miscarriage of justice. And President Trump, President Trump can truly show that he cares for the African American community now by pardoning this man that is just out trying to uplift his people. Trying to uplift his people and teach them self determination. President Trump. The FBI arrested this man. You need to pardon him immediately. Forget the platinum plan. Forget the platinum plan. Pardon Grandmaster Jay. Do you hear me? Can I get an amen? While you're at it, pardon the former mayor of Detroit, Kwame Kilpatrick, too. Show that you care for brown and black people all over this world show them that you care President Trump <laughs> the head of the self-proclaimed militia even in the media calls him self-proclaimed <laughs> who posted who protested in Louisville with hundreds of armed followers has been arrested Way 3 News troubleshooters have learned John Fitzgerald Johnson or Grandmaster J. Yes, almost like the rapper. Was booked into local facility on federal charges by the FBI. According to multiple sources, the charge is for allegedly pointing a long gun at federal agents in Louisville. Metro Police Department officers. The incident happened during a day of protest in September on one of the handful of visits by the YouTube blogger. Less than a minute after former LMPD spokeswoman and advisor to the chief, Jesse Holliday, was recorded coming out of a nearby building and giving a member of Johnson's group a hug. Yep, that's what you do after they point guns at you. The video was posted on social media and drew criticism from officers across the state. Halliday no longer works with the LMPD. Imagine that. Johnson identifies himself as the leader of NFAC, or No Fucking Around Coal Coalition, a self-proclaimed militia, which includes hundreds of members. Johnson's online videos have thousands of views. He ran for president of the United States in 2016. Ah, I'm shocked he didn't beat President Trump, honestly. With the degenerates in this country. The group gathered in Louisville a couple of times to join protests surrounding Breonna Taylor's death. One such visit, one NFAC member accidentally shot themselves and two others with their own rifle. Johnson was also under scrutiny after making public statements some considered threatening, like stating he had come back to Louisville and burn it down if Attorney General Daniel Cameron 
did not indict the officers involved in the Taylor case. During a rally in July, Johnson was also quoted threatening to shoot someone that was on top of a nearby building. Two o'clock, Johnson said, as he instructed his armed followers next to him to look at the building. Assume the position, he instructed. I don't know who the fuck you are, Johnson continued, but you're about to get shot. At another point during the rally, Johnson told the crowd, if something happens, happens and y'all don't hit the ground, it's your fault. I'm giving fair warning. My people will defend themselves if attacked. He continued, I'm going to say it publicly. We will not shoot you. We will kill you. This is the first time Johnson has been charged with any protest-related activity in Louisville. Though a series of open records, some which took months to receive, Wave Three's news troubleshooters learned Johnson served in the U.S. Army beginning in 1997 when he was stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and Fort Wainwright, Alaska. The 57-year-old also spent time in Virginia and Maryland. Johnson does not have any prior felony convictions, but has had run-ins with federal law enforcement before, according to records Wave 3 News tracked down. According to records obtained by Wave 3 News, from Charlotte, North Carolina, FBI's field office in 2003, Johnson was federally, federally arrested and convicted for entering a military property, a misdemeanor. The additional charge of assault within a special territorial jurisdiction was ultimately dismissed. Records show. Well, there you have it. President Trump, you have an opportunity. Because this is the not fucking around coalition. Okay? They're going to bring the pain if you don't release their leader. You're about to find out. This ain't the proud boys you're messing with here. These are the real deal. You understand what I'm saying? You have all been disavowed.